But hey, thanks for joining me today for the video on boxing. For you now, I've got four expansions for a Resident Evil 2 board game. Now, a couple of months ago, when I unboxed the initial board game, which included all the stretch goals and a couple of the uh, add-on expansions as, as extra purchases, I didn't bother unboxing the actual retro pack. Because the video was going on 20 minutes and to save time I just showed back of the box because that didn't actually feature no figurines. But this week I've now acquired the giant alligator which wasn't a Kickstarter exclusive but then unbeknown to me became a Kickstarter exclusive and I didn't purchase it. And now all the add-ons I made initially were Kickstarter exclusives but I managed to get this on eBay for 38 quid, which I'm happy about. And, because I wanted a complete set and I couldn't afford it properly at the time, but with a few eBay sales, I managed to get the two expansions for the Malformations of the G, the b Foles expansion and the Normal expansion. So now, as far as I can tell, I've got a complete set for Resident Evil 2 board game. So I thought, you know what, I've not opened these yet to have a look, so I might as well record a video unboxing and whilst I'm at it, do the Retro Pack expansion too. <clears throat> Excuse me. So first things first, let's start with the expansion pack. Seeing as I've had this one the longest. So this, as you can guess, is uh, it's based upon the original 1998 version of Resident Evil 2. Now, if, as far as I can gather, these just include some um, replacement cards and decks to give it more of that retro feel. So we've got obviously new cards. Based on the old versions of Licker, the Evolved Licker, obviously in Ida, Leon Claire, Robert Kendo, and the Keys, and some of the other various bits and bobs and whatnot. I've literally not opened this yet. So I've got a board game, which I've not played yet, because it's always a case of getting people around to play it with you. Even though you can play it on its own, but I think first things first, I'd rather experience it playing with friends first and foremost. Doesn't feel right playing board games on your own. But if push comes to shove, I might still do that. So, oh, it's what we got. Excuse me. Got the uh, rules a booklet. Obviously, with some of the type of contents. Imagine there's not many rules there other than oh, we've got the streets in that as well. So I think these are mainly replacement decks. So let's try not to pop these eggs, I don't want to come loose. There we've got eight side of the streets. So inside the police station and the laboratory. Lav Did I say lavatory? Laboratory. Inside the box. There you go, some of your underground umbrella research facility. Cute. Uh, take off a set of tape. Okay, so we've got some of the mutant cards that are here, mutation cards. Thank you, yeah. Got some cool art, a giant alligator. Loads of cards for placement. There's various stage of Mr. Birkin. Go some more. Burke has some of the tyrant or Mr. X, as he's also known. I'd like to tend to call him the tyrant. And back of the cards, obviously, you got some what the uh, game changing mechanics that each one of the versions of those cards brings to the table. Plunk these back in there. Some more just game mechanic cards, nothing that interesting on the art side. So, door, and here we go. Actually, we've got some of the characters. Oh, tofu, lovable tofu, honk. There's William again, there's Chief Irons, the bar steward, Sherry. Well, these are all retro versions of the characters, and I've also got a pixelated look to them as well. There's Ben. Leon doesn't speak to him very nicely, especially in the original. 
Brad, Marvin, Claire, Leon, Kendo. Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! Ida, whatnot, Leon. And obviously you got some of the uh, mechanics as well, terrifying roars, sort of zombie damage and whatnot, some of the liquors. So it's cool as well. Some cool art, some very it's all proper, proper retro. And what skills each of those cards bring to the table and whatnot. So let's punk you back in there. What's these ones? Unstoppable onwards, an undead march, a tide of ravenous ghouls refusing to succumb to even the most grievous of wounds. So these are very much up with story cards and also game changing stuff. Nothing that interesting to look at there. I don't think. There you go. Not much, not much to see here. And these are inventory items, or looks like I can see precinct keys and other keys and whatnot. A sewer key. So these are cards you pick up along the way. Herbs, bombs, aids, ink ribbons, keys, red and blue key cards, ammo and whatnot. So you've got the representative art on your side as well. Cute. And these are very much the same by the looks of it. Same shtick. And take a quick fly through these. We'll see hang on. Combat knife, aid sprays again. Just more of the same, but some different items for different stages of the game. So that is a retro pack. I say no card, no always cards, no figures or anything on these ones. These are literally do, just replacement cards for the base game and one of the expansions, I believe, to give that more of that retro feel. So that is the uh, Retro Horror Pack, that was far more awkward to actually uh, put back in the box than what I thought it would be. You have to excuse the poor lighting, this one. We're in England, and it's a very gloomy day, in the middle of winter, and I have limited resources. For so look at the uh, Alligator, which like I said, ended up being a Kickstarter exclusive. No, it start yeah, it ended up being a kick, Kickstarter exclusive, but best of my memory, it wasn't initially. And I didn't notice that, which is why I didn't buy it with my pledge. So I basically made sure, sorry, as well as getting obviously the stretch goals, if I was going to buy any add-ons, I'd get all the uh, Kickstarter exclusives because they then won't be available at retail. And somewhere down the line, they changed the alligator. Some I did want to get, but I thought, you know what, I can hold it. Wait until it comes to retail and save some more money for now. But then they changed it. What's that? I've got this uh, for 38 quid on eBay, which I'm very happy about. So I've not had a look at this yet, so. That's the rules booklet for the Giant Alligator expansion. Obviously, we've got the alligator, we've got cards, we've got some new tiles and whatnot. And by the looks of it, he's big. And there's some of the tiles. All a bit dark, but say, as you can expect, they very much feature rooms and corridors from the sewer section of Ye Old Resi 2. Oh, I've popped one of those bomb state there. Let's take the tape off here. Wheeled tougher seller tape. So a few cards here, nothing major. Cards to pick up, put on the uh, tiles to pick up along the way. So 
So we've got a Darwin K, the Sewer K, and some uh, bow gun bolts and some shotgun shells. God, I remember he's been stupidly tough to take out. And this year needs three Kickstarter boxes. I'm a bit disappointed I didn't put the artwork on the one a lot of the ones are gonna sell at retail on the Kickstarter exclusives. What not? Here we go get some of the cards here. Join alligator, obviously some characteristics. What he's gonna do is he's gonna crush us to death, he's gonna do a wall smash, or swallow your hole, terrifying roar, and movements for you as well. Nothing much on the side, obviously we've just got the alligator on those ones and a door on the other side of the cards. And let's have a look at the alligator, shall we? Start of the show. Now, do you know what? I've not I've never painted miniature figurines. It is something I really want to do. I'm I'm decent enough at uh, sketching. I don't know your pad and paper and all that lot. So I don't know. I might give it a go one day. And the figure is a bit that big, so a bit of width for it to me. They're all upstairs. But you can have a look at my other unboxings for it, your expansion, see what the figures look like. He's cool, it's got good detail, so they look wicked. If someone knew what we we're doing, we're painting on. I like him a lot, I like him a lot. There you go, cool. That's the, so that's the alligator expansion. It's all put you all back in a box and look at the malformations next. Guys, okay, so that's the alligator out of the way. Now it's on to the malformations of William Birkin. Birkin. So I think I'll start with one on the left. So in here we get the Birkin Stage 4 and the Birkin Stage 2. As well as obviously normal cards and whatnot. And with this one you need a core game to play with. And I think the other one is for one of the expansions. These ones aren't a uh, Kickstarter exclusive, which is why they've got fancy artwork on. There we go, yeah. William Birkin, the genius responsible for the creation of a G virus, was once head researcher for the Umbrella Corporation until agents were sent to steal his research. Yeah, so you always tell these are ones that are going to go to retail because they've got really cool artwork. And on the boxes are actually like proper sturdy quality where the Kickstarter stretch goal ones or exclusive ones are really flimsy cardboard which is why they're a bit difficult at times to put in the box. So here we are, a rules booklet and whatnot. I'll see your figurines, the cards, the tiles, all the blah 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 bits and bobs. So here's one, here's one of the tiles here which... Remember, if you know the original Resi, Resi 2, that's a room where you have the uh, Birkin boss fight. Oh, it's a smack bang end of the game. So here's some of the cards. Some of the old tums. So it's some magnum rains, grenade rains, and a magnum. Plain and simple. That's the, uh, I guess, the, the attacks of Birkin. And there's obviously attacks and defences as well for yourself and the enemy. Birkin stage four there. Nice artwork. This is Birkin stage two. Inside moves for the player and the enemy. 
Awesome stuff. So let's look at two stages of Birkin, shall we? There's Birkin stage two. Again, apologise for the poor lights in that moment. It is incredibly gloomy outside. There's no sunshine at all. It's just cloud and rain. Can we get a close look at the eye? Is my camera going to behave? Yeah, it's going to behave sort of. That's really cool. Again, I guess, if you're really talented at painting miniatures, it would look bloody awesome. I said obviously they're all one basic colour. I have got really good detail to them. Let's get you back in there. Let's look at the uh, stage four Birkin. Come on camera, behave, there we go. Again, really cool detail on that one. We talk. Am I going to behave for a closer look? Yeah, man. That's mint. So one day I'm going to practice. I might have to get some like, random miniatures off eBay. Or summer And get practicing. So that. Is that pack done? That pack, rat pack. So that's the uh, malformations of a G-Virus expansion for the first one. And I have to say, these boxes do very much remind me of the old school... Uh, PC boxes, the old games back in the day. I used to love doing that. Anyway, let's have a look at the next one. The Malformations of G, B-Files Expansion. So, yep, yeah, with this one, this goes with a B-Files Expansion, as it says on the box. So, with this one, we get Birkin Stage 5. Is it Stage 4 and 2? With that one, yeah. So this one's Birkin Stage 5, and we also get Birkin Stage 1, as well as some of the cards. <laughs> the, uh, so let's read a line of description. Although the first group of survivors were able to overcome the ferocious Birkin Stage 3 mutation and escape, their adversary was not so easily defeated. Lurking within a darkness of regaining its strength, the creature was merely biding its time until the second group of survivors arrived before resuming its deadly assault. Can such a monstrous foe ever be truly defeated? Cat's making noise in the background. So what's it? That's a difficult box to take off. There we go, right, so. Rules a booklet. That's your cards, additional content, how bits and bobs works. What not, coolio. One set of cards with this one. Let's see, all Birkin Stage 5 and Birkin Stage 1. And obviously various attacks and defences for the player and enemy. Let's have a look at Birkin stage one. He's so tiny. I'm gonna get a focus. Kinda. I'm always using my camera phone. One day I'll be able to get a decent camera, I reckon. One fine day, maybe. Can we get a closer look? How about now? How about now? Oh, we go. Or as close as my camera and my phone's going to allow it. But again, really cool detail. For such a small miniature. Now you star of the show. This monstrosity. Look at that. 
Mutation stage five. That's brilliant. We can get a bit of closer look. And we should behave a bit more. Yeah man, that's mint. Really impressed. So that my friends concludes the expansions for all of the Resident Evil 2 board game goodness. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to check out my other unboxings for the main board game stretch stretch goals and some other expansions, I'll put a link in the comments and also in the description box. And uh, if you have enjoyed this unboxing, I know we've gone on a while again, but it's a bit difficult with all the contents here. But if you have enjoyed my videos and whatnot, please consider to comment, like, share, and even subscribe, and even hit that bell thing and jig what people keep on going on about on YouTube. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And you can also follow me on Twitter, at Solid the Snake, the same as my YouTube username. So that said, my friends, as always, thanks for watching, and peace out.